Hey guys, it's Heather. Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing speed reviews. So I'm going to do like little mini reviews for five different products that I've been trying over the past probably like three weeks to three months. So I figured that I'm going to do this regularly now on my channel. Since I'm already trying these products, I figured that I would just let you guys know whether or not they are any good. So let's just get started. Okay, so I've been trying out the dewy version of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus probably for the last month or so and I have some thoughts about it. So first off, you get almost one ounce in a bottle. You can pick this up at Target for like $4.99 or at Ulta for $6.49. I'm not sure what the price difference is about but it is more expensive at Ulta. So there's 14 different shades to choose from on both the Target and Ulta websites. On the Wet n Wild website, there are 20 different shades, which I thought was interesting. Now the shade range to me isn't great. I'm actually having to mix these two right here. This one is Shell Ivory and this one is Soft Beige. And this is the comparison of shades that are right next to each other. As you can see, this one is much darker, much more of like a yellow undertone, very warm. And then this one almost has like a pinky type undertone. So I'm having to mix the both of these right now to get somewhat of a perfect match. But for the price, it's not that big of a deal. So the formula is described as ultra lightweight and moisturizing. It's said to be buildable coverage and long lasting. And it says that it can get up to a full coverage. I would say it's more of a medium coverage. If I really, really build, I can get a very medium coverage, which is what I have on my face today. It provides a hydrating glow. I would say it's like a satin dewy finish. I don't feel like it makes me ultra glowy or super oily. Now I will say that after I apply it, as soon as I set it down with powder, and I'm not even using matte powder, I feel like that dewiness definitely dissipates a bunch. I'm wondering if I could use like a glowier setting powder, if it would help it stay like a little bit more dewy, but I do have like highlight on and setting spray. So I would say that the finish looks more of like a satin right now. So for the application, it does come with this weird paddle. It isn't horrible, but I think that if you can tell, it kind of like, it will drip out. I mean, it's not awful. I would prefer a pump, but it doesn't bother me. So I've tried to use my brush to apply this. Now I will say that I have found that using a dampened beauty sponge is the best way for me to personally apply it. When I use a brush, it just kind of smeared product everywhere and I was getting like lines. It was very uneven. I just didn't like the way the foundation was behaving using a brush. And I think that it works best with a sponge to be able to build and get a really pretty finish. So I would say that the pros are definitely the price, the finish, I think it is really, really, really beautiful dewy finish foundation, especially for the price. You're not going to find anything better if you're looking for a dewy foundation. The cons for me are definitely the shade range, but if I have to just buy two and mix them together, depending on what time of the year it is, that's fine with me. It's totally doable. And the smell is still a little funky. I think that they definitely tried to improve that paint-like smell from the original and add in some fragrance. But to me, it just kind of smells very fragrant still. It's almost like they were trying to make it smell fresh, but to me it is still just like very artificial smelling. It's not terrible, but I think that if you are sensitive to scent, you definitely won't like this. So would I buy it again? Yes, I would definitely buy this again. I think this will be my go-to foundation if I want to mix this in with more of a matte full coverage, just so I can kind of bring my skin back to life. I prefer more of a satin finish, so I definitely think this will be a great mixer as well. So the next product I have to talk about here today are the Kiss Gel Fantasy Ready to Wear Nails. They have so many cute different styles and these ones are the long length. I have them on right now. I've had them on for about a week and I used the glue. I did not use the adhesive strips that comes with it. I've been cleaning with these suckers on. I've been doing a lot and they are really holding up really nice. Now I will say that I do not love the length. Super hard for me to type with for work, hard for me to clean with, trying to change a baby's diaper. It's just not the funnest with these big nails on, 
but I think that they're really pretty and for the price you just can't beat them. So it comes in a pack of 28 and the price is $7.99 for all varieties of the Gel Fantasy, both at Ulta and at Target. And there's almost a five star rating on both Target and the Ulta site online. Now I have done videos on other Kiss Nails in the past. I will put it up above in the eye if you want to check out the video. It kind of goes more into exactly how I apply them. But these ones are said to last up to one week, which I definitely think that they would last up to two weeks as long as you're not like, you know, peeling and picking at them, depending on what you're doing. I mean, I've been cleaning, I've been doing a lot and they've really, really held up. They are definitely super easy to apply. With the ones that are already colored, you don't have to worry about the little air bubbles showing through. I feel like when you use the clear manicure ones, if you're not like perfect and precise about how you put those on, it will definitely show the air pockets underneath the nail. So these do come with adhesive and they come with glue. I threw out the adhesives because I never use them, but I just want to show you. They come with a little tube of glue that you're not gonna run out of and it's perfect to just kind of put in your purse. And then it also comes with 28 different nails to choose from. You will definitely, I think, find a match for your nail. I think they have like three or four different sizes for your thumbnail alone. And it makes it super easy because under each nail there is a number so you can keep track of which number you used where and make sure that you are getting the match like on one pointer and then you're putting that same nail number on the other one. And it also comes with a little nail file and a manicure stick. So the nails are super, super thin. They're not chunky or anything like that. They're not gonna stick out. I don't know if you can see, but I think that they do look nice. The only thing I will say is if you have long nail beds, which I do, it's hard to see, but I'm finding it hard to be able, especially in this length where it's more like tapered on the edges, I feel like if you have longer nail beds, it's not gonna fit exactly right on your nails, but I feel like that's really the only con is finding a nail that is gonna fit your nail perfectly. But I think that for the price, super easy. You can just pop them on if you have an event to go to. I've said it a million times in other videos. I do really, really like these for the price. It's just so easy. And they have so many cute styles that I'm going to be purchasing and trying out in the future. And they're not hard to remove or anything like that. Like it doesn't rip your nail off. It's kind of easy if you can just kind of wedge under the nail and they'll just kind of pop off with a little bit of pressure. So I would definitely purchase these again. Moving on, you saw me use this in my video that I just did trying out Hilary Duff's makeup routine. So I have been using this for the past three weeks. It really intrigued me because I am looking for something that could help with my dark spots. I do have some melasma from my pregnancy. So I figured that I would give this a shot. So it comes in two different sizes. You can get it from Sephora or right from the Ole Henriksen site. This is the Glow 2OH Dark Spot Toner. So it comes in the 6.5 ounces, which is the size I have for $29, or you can get the small 2.2 ounce mini size for $16. It has a 4.3 star rating on Sephora and 88% of people would recommend this. So it claims to be a potent lightweight toner with AHAs including glycolic and lactic acid to reduce the look of dark spots, fine lines, dullness, and uneven texture, and it's supposed to start working in as little as seven days. The ingredients, I'm gonna put them up on the screen, are AHAs, which are supposed to help uneven tone and texture, help reduce the appearance of dark spots, fine lines, and wrinkles. Witch hazel, which is used as an astringent, to help brighten and refine skin. And then there's also added lemon, sugarcane, licorice root, chamomile, and sandalwood extracts, which are supposed to help to soften and condition skin. Now the smell is supposed to be like a lemon sugarcane. I mean, it's not bad, I don't love it. I think it's growing on me. Okay, so for the application, I apply this after I've either showered or washed my face just with a cotton pad. So you're supposed to tone post-cleansing and before you put on your serum and your moisturizer. It definitely removes dirt. My skin feels smooth after I apply it. So, so far I have been using this for about three weeks. I have not noticed a huge difference in dark spots. I wish that I have, but I haven't. So because of that, I mean, I'm gonna keep using it. 
I do feel like my skin does look brighter. It's definitely maybe helped with some texture that I normally have going on here. But if you're looking for something to remove dark spots, I'm not sure that this is gonna do it for you. For some people it may, for me, it hasn't been able to really do much. So I think the price is a little steep. It is $29 for this bottle. So I like to kind of spend my money on things that I know are definitely gonna work. Um, I am a huge, huge fan of Ule Henriksen. I love the Truth Serum. I love the Nighttime Invigorating Serum, I think it's called. So I'm not 100% sure on this one yet, whether or not I would repurchase it. So that's what I have to say about that. So next up is a perfume that I've been trying out. This is the Victor & Rolf Bon Bon Perfume. I do have the Flower Bomb and I love that. And I wanted to try something a little bit sweeter. I love sweet smelling perfumes. So I figured that I would give this one a shot. So instead of buying the bigger bottles, I just bought the little sample size. This was $20 and it did come with a lotion and a little set like this. And I think you get 0.25 ounces of product. So this perfume does have a four and a half star rating. It has really, really good reviews. And I'm just gonna break down the sizes. So you get one ounce for $68, you get 1.7 ounces for $98, and then the biggest size I think they offer is the 3.04 ounce, and that's for $158. So I do like that they have a little sample that you can try out before you wanted to go ahead and splurge on the bigger bottle. I do wish that it came in the little sprayer. This is just kind of the dab on one. So I'm not a huge fan of that, but I think that it is a good deal and you can just kind of dab it on like I do here and just kind of massage it in. Oh my God, it smells so good. So this perfume is described as juicy caramelized fruits, sun-drenched flowers, and sweet creamy woods. So it's definitely for people that like sweet scents and a little goes a long way. I just dabbed a little bit on and I feel like I can really, really smell it. So I'm gonna put the notes up on the screen. So the top is fruity. So it's mandarin oil, orange blossom. The middle is flowery which is a jasmine accord, and then the base is a caramel woods, so cedar, woods, and caramel. And I'm gonna put a picture up here that I figured would describe the way that it smells the best. It's kind of hard to describe the way something smells like through the camera, but this picture here is gonna do it for you. It is just delicious. I don't know how else to describe it. So for me, the pros are definitely the delicious scent. I get tons of compliments. It is just a very enticing scent. The cons are is that it's a little bit pricey. Um, I think that it lasts a good amount, but if you're looking for something that's gonna last like all day long into the night, I think that you're definitely gonna have to reapply. For me, that's not a problem, but that might bother some people. And it is a little bit on the expensive side, but I think that this little sample size is definitely a good option. So the last thing I'm gonna be talking about that I have been trying for probably the past three, maybe four months now, is this Derma E Vitamin C Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This I picked up from Target. It comes in two fluid ounces for almost $25. So you get a quite a bit of product here. Now this serum is formulated with vitamin C and hyaluronic acid to support collagen production, to help smooth any fine lines or wrinkles, to help with texture, to brighten your skin. The ingredients are vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, aloe, and vitamin E and they used a stabilized version of vitamin C to kind of help with the degrading so the shelf life actually lasts longer and so the vitamin C doesn't degrade over time, making it less potent. That is something that really attracted me to want to try this is because of the two fluid ounces. That's a lot to get through and typically in a vitamin C serum it would go bad before I would even come close to getting through using all the serum. So I apply this on a clean face after I've used my Ule Henriksen toner and prior to putting on sunscreen or foundation that has like an SPF in it. And I also put this on my neck and down my chest and the back of my hands to help fight off any signs of aging. So the pros are definitely the pricing, the quality, 
the amount that you get for the price. It is formulated with natural ingredients, so I do really like that. And I do like that it has definitely helped with my texture and just kind of brighten my skin. The cons, I would say the scent is a little funky. I don't know how to describe it. It says there's no added fragrance. I mean, it's not horrible. I definitely smell ones that are a lot more expensive, like the Drunk Elephant one. I think that smells like weird hot dogs or something nasty. So as long as it works, that is really all that matters. So yes, I would definitely repurchase this one again. I am always on the market and always hunting for skincare that works, that is affordable. So those are all the products that I wanted to share with you in today's kind of mini review. If you guys like this video, let me know down below and I will continue to share the beauty items that I've been trying. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.